from Marmite to razor blades and famous shops, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, or indeed to any royal, is a cherished badge of honour. Royal warrants, as they're known, are in their personal gift, a way of thanking businesses that have done them good service. And my next guests, Emma and David Quenby, are an example of that. As Prince of Wales, the now King, honoured them, look at them smiling quite rightly, uh, for their Welsh farmhouse apple juice. And I'm delighted that they have come to discuss it. I mean, you have to, I mean, I know because I've read the briefing notes, but you two have got to share with GB News viewers and listeners how it came to pass, because it, 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 you kind of started off as suppliers to him, didn't you? Correct, yes. We, uh, well, it started, uh, my father received a phone call um, to go and identify some trees, some apple trees that um, they, they didn't know what they were in mid Wales. He doesn't usually um, do that, but he decided to, to go down and have a look. Uh, they were, he was told it might be worth his while, so he um, made the way down to Lundavery um, and went to Clary Wormwood Estate. Um, wasn't sure whose state it was and looked around the orchard. Very, very um, interesting place and was told at the end that it, it indeed was Prince Charles's estate, um, the Clanny Wormod estate in near Lundovery. So very, very um, interesting place. And uh, I was asked then whether, well, basically Prince Charles had tried our juice, really, really enjoyed it, and asked whether we would be prepared to make juice for him, which we um, quickly agreed to. As you can imagine, and he did. Um, <laughs> he, <laughs> he decided, um, so, uh, sort of about five years later or so, that he'd like to come and visit the farm and see how it was produced. Um, so we had a royal visit in summer of 2014, and the royal warrant was issued um, January 2015. So a very, very proud moment for the whole family, as you can imagine. Emma, have you got? Have you got a flask or have you got something that you can hold up to show us? We don't, actually. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I, I it's it's oh. our fault. We were supposed to ask you to do that. But just everybody close their eyes for a moment and imagine Little Crest and what have you. Uh, and there it is. The question that follows that, and it's a totally serious question. Emma, Emma, take it first and David, come in if you want to do. Once you've got it, you've got to maintain standards. You two are not just amateurs uh, making, you know, fruit juice from a few spare apples if you happen to have an apple tree in your, in your garden. You've got to meet a standard that he approves of and you've got to maintain it. Emma? That's exactly right. So I think a lot of people don't realise that in order to be awarded the warrant, you have to uh, meet very kind of strict requirements in terms of your economic impact and in terms of your environmental impact and your sustainability policies. Um, and so it's, you know, it's a real honour for us to have been given uh, this award because it does recognise all of those things and the hard work that we do. Yeah. You know, what, what we make is quite um, difficult to make and it does require Hang on a, a minute. Just, 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 just stop for a minute. Oh, can we, can we go back? Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> is this moving? Pay? No, it's because we had the two of you standing there and, and, and I could see the royal crest there. It was, it was above the letter W, but we're now looking at a bottle, uh, which I'm sure... Oh, yeah, it is there at the bottom, isn't it? Right in the yeah. middle. That, that's the little crest and it's just absolutely delightful. Um, uh, I butted in, Emma. I'm so sorry. You were talking about maintaining those, those strict standards. If you do, David, Emma, whichever you like, do you know yet whether it will become by appointment to His Majesty the King, having been by appointment to His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales? We don't have um, any any indication yet as to whether it will follow um, King Charles as he is now in, into his position or we will stay with being sort of associated with the, the Prince of Wales, who obviously will now be William. So uh, eager to find out, obviously, but, you know, the, the review will go on over the coming weeks and months. And, you know, there are more pressing things uh, going on at the moment, obviously, with, with the, the passing of the Queen, which we send out our deepest sympathy, sympathies to the royal family at this time. But yeah, it, we will, we will, I'm sure, find out in due course.